Yo, yo, welcome to lesson 17. Just a quick update. I upgraded my equipment a bit, so now the background looks a lot cooler. Uh, let me know if you like it in the comments below. Today, we are going to take a break from objects and we are going to talk about list operations. The list that we have created were not interactive at all, where we basically just created a variable with items already populated inside it. That's not fun at all. So today, I will show you how to add and also remove items from a list. First, let's talk about adding items to a list. Cool, so first let's create an empty list. So let's just call it list of numbers and then put the equal sign and then open and close the square brackets. And now let's go to the next line. In Python, to add something to the end of the list, all we have to do is take the name of the variable that holds the list. So in this case, list of numbers, and then you add a dot after, and then type append, A-P-P-E-N-D, and then open the parentheses. And then here, let's put in the number five. And now let's click run. So we don't see anything in the output. Uh, that's because we have to use the function print. So let's do print list of numbers. And now let's click run. And here, as you can see, we added a five to the end of the list. So let's try adding another number. So let's copy these two lines and paste. And now let's add 50. And now let's click run. And here, as you can see, the first print on line three gave us a five. And the second print on line five gave us five and 50. So basically by using append, we can add an item to the end of the list. So one thing I want you to notice is that we used a dot after the name of the variable that holds the list. So a list is technically just an object and it has functions that we can use such as a pen. Hopefully this gives you a bigger picture of why we learned about objects in the previous lessons. Cool, so now if we want to add a item at a certain position, all we have to do is use the function insert. And the first parameter is the index followed by the item. So if we want to insert a number at position zero, all we have to do is this, list of numbers dot insert. And here I pass it the index I want to insert it at. So I'll put zero and let's put 10. And now let's copy the print statement after line seven and now let's hit run. And here, as you can see, this 10 got inserted at index zero. Cool, so let's try this again. So let's copy and paste these two lines and then paste it and let's put it in position two. So we should expect this 10 to go right where this 50 is. So now let's click run. And here, as you can see, we got 10, five, 10, and 50. And finally, if we want to add more than one items to the list, we can use dot extend and pass a list of items. So let's do that. So let's do list of numbers dot extend. And now open the parentheses and now let's pass a list of items. So let's pass one, two, three, four, and five. And now let's copy the print statement and paste. And now let's click run. And here, as you can see, we added one, two, three, four, five to the end of the list. Cool, so now let's talk about how we can remove items from a list. So to remove an item from a list, we can use the remove function. So let's remove the number 10 from our list. Let's do list of numbers dot remove, open the parentheses and put 10 and copy the print from line 13 and paste it after. And now let's click run. Cool, and as you can see, this 10 got removed from the list. So basically by using remove, it removes that item from the list. And if there are duplicates, you'll have to call this function again. So let's copy line 15 and 16 and then paste and then let's click run. And here, as you can see, we removed two tens from the list. Cool, so another way to remove items from a list is using a function called pop. And basically, pop just removes the last item of the list. So let's try that out. So let's copy the two lines above, and let's paste it. And now let's change remove to pop, and now let's get rid of the 10. And now let's click run. Cool, and here you see the five at the end got removed. And pop is very similar to insert, where you can specify a index that you want to remove. So for example, if we want to remove this 50, which is at position one, we can just do dot pop one. So let's copy line 21 and 22 and let's paste it. And now let's put pop one and now let's click run. And here, as you can see, the 50 got removed. And one thing to note is that each time you remove an item, all the items get shifted to the left. So if we compare these two lists, as you can see, when we remove the 10, all the numbers here shifted to the left. And in this example, when we remove this 10, everything after uh, this 50 all the way to the five got shifted one to the left. And here, when we remove the five at the end, nothing got shifted. And finally here, when we remove this 50, everything else got shifted to the left. Cool, and we can also call a function called clear, which basically just removes all the items in the list. So let's do list of numbers dot clear and open the parentheses. And now let's print out the list of numbers. And now let's click run. And here, as you can see, we have no items left in the list. And that's basically how you remove items from a list. 
Hopefully you learned something new. Make sure to understand these concepts because we will need this for a future lesson. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next lesson.